What's up guys, Dre here with Will It Break and today I got Ben and Dave and what we're going to be doing is playing with some liquid nitrogen. Obviously I'm here for the adult supervision but I'm also here to have fun. Our main target of the video today is going to be this iPhone 7. It's 256 gig. The kids were going to sell it on Craigslist but we decided we'd rather just destroy this thing. Second, we're going to do a battery, alkaline battery. Pretty sure it's fully charged but we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Then we're going to do an apple, a ping pong ball. I want to see if we could just shatter this thing with the grip of our palm. Then we have a mandarin and some just vegetable oil that you would use for frying. The order they're going to go is we're going to do all this other extra stuff and then the phone is going to be last. So stay to the end of the video if you really want to see the destruction of this phone. First thing we need is liquid nitrogen. We need a containment to contain liquid nitrogen. We're going to use a metal bowl for that, which is going to be, where the hell is that damn bowl? <laughs> and we're going to need some metal tongs to pick up the items out of the liquid nitrogen. And you're going to need some like welding gloves or something, some sort of tough gloves that you're not going to burn your fingers with the nitrogen because it is negative 329 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get into it. So guys, we are first going to take these four miscellaneous items and we're going to put them into this bowl here. First the apple, the ping pong ball, the mandarin, and the battery. Now we are going to pour in the liquid nitrogen onto these items. The ping pong ball is flowing, so we're gonna have to put, push this down right here. Looks like the battery is down there, so we might have to roll the apple around a little bit. The ping pong ball, though, is flowing up. It's really annoying to get down. Here. We're gonna leave this in here until it stops boiling. Now we're gonna leave this thing inside there until it stops boiling, so then we know that it's done freezing. Okay, we're gonna put some more liquid nitrogen. The battery might be blowing up underneath the liquid nitrogen. How do you know that it's gonna blow up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think the battery in the ping pong ball is now done, actually, because it seemed to be done quickly, but the mandarin and the apple don't look done. They're still boiling in the liquid nitrogen. The ping pong ball and the battery are not boiling anymore. That means that they're ready. So let's try to crush these. Yeah, no, I think I might need a hammer for this. Very tough. It's not breaking. Drop this down right here. No, that doesn't look like doesn't look affected by the liquid nitrogen whatsoever. Mandarin looks already cracked, so we might have to get that. Oh, whoa! Looks like the mandarin completely cracked open. Um, mm. We're gonna quickly flip this over a little bit. It might be cracking open a little bit more after we're done. Looks like the mandarin is done. We're gonna now crush these. All right. Let's see here. Oh, wow! Ooh, like glass. Like glass. Completely. Dang. All right. Sounds like glass too. Ooh. No, completely. You okay. Can, you can see it. Looks like the battery kind of exploded a little bit. See, it split open yeah, right it around here. Yeah, it kind of like cut and opened itself. Yeah. But we didn't. Like... We didn't do to. It, 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 we didn't do anything to it. It looks like it just did. It did that by itself in the liquid nitrogen. Okay. Now we're gonna crush the battery. Okay. Alright. Harder. It's oh. just taking off the, the wrap. And there we got the. Looks like the liquid inside the battery uh, froze up into like little bits and pieces over here, as you can see. Ooh. Completely. Now we're gonna take the apple. It looks like it's done boiling inside the liquid nitrogen. And we are going to smash it because it doesn't look like it crushed or did anything yet. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Oh. Like glass, completely. We completely froze it. Man. That was like one of the easiest ways I've ever opened an apple before. <laughs> Look at that. Now we got we got all the pieces over here. This is insane. Last time we experimented with it, just broke down like a slushy because we didn't completely freeze it. This Man. looks like it. Now it's just glass. Yeah, completely, look at, look at that. this. <laughs> this is breaking apart very well, I wonder easily. if you could eat that. How would right. it taste? <laughs> it sounds like glass when you're breaking it. It apart. sounds satisfying. I like the sound. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the uh, liquid nitrogen looks pretty evaporated, so we're gonna have to put more 
And the next thing that we're going to freeze up is the vegetable oil. So let's begin the process. Also, the metal bowl looks pretty frozen. It's like a big snow bowl. <laughs> Okay, that looks house. enough, so we should now pour the pour. There's the a bunch of oil. frost on oh, the me? outside of the bowl over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour the vegetable oil. Wow, it's boiling insanely. Looks like it froze completely inside the vegetable oil. It's not even floating on the top of it. It looks like start, snow. Now I'll start to mix it. It looks like we're doing like it's, eggs. <laughs> no, it completely froze. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> you can't you can't mix that. Wow, can you believe that, guys? That, that's vegetable oil, people. It's kind of a little bit mushy, look kind of like ice cubes. It's a... Uh, it looks like snow now, right? <laughs> look at it. Kind of frozen. Extremely. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Actually, what are we going to do with it? <laughs> it? It looks like the liquid nitrogen just completely destroyed it. It looks like it's turning into a little bit, so like fragments. It looks like... <laughs> it looks... Liquid nitrogen vegetable oil soup. That's what I'm saying. It looks like soup, right? It looks like rice. It's completely frozen in a bunch of frac. Frac. Now it's poured out to frost. Looks like all the liquid nitrogen evaporated. The whole oil is done freezing inside the liquid nitrogen. We're gonna now pour it into this cup over here to see if we can take out all the liquid nitrogen. Wow, that's insane. Completely froze. Most of the liquid nitrogen is now evaporated, so it's only the vegetable oil, vegetable oil left. <laughs> now we're gonna set that aside and let that defrost, and now we're gonna pour in some more liquid nitrogen and let the phone defrost. All right, and for our final product, we are gonna be taking this phone, we're gonna open it up, get rid of that crap, put it aside. We're gonna make sure the phone's on, everything is on, so the phone's gonna be working. Press the home button. Okay, we're gonna turn on the camera. We're gonna turn on video. And we're gonna flip the camera around. And we're gonna place the phone into the bowl while it's recording. And then we're gonna pour the liquid nitrogen on top of that. I'm gonna dump the rest of this jug honestly on it. We're gonna leave it in there until all this nitrogen evaporates. Completely. Okay, I think that's enough before it starts overfilling. Yep. Oh wow. No. That's the whole thing. Looks like the liquid nitrogen is boiling like crazy here. Especially in the middle where the iPhone is. So I think the phone actually exploded. Or fractured. Oh yeah. whoa, Holy yeah, no, it completely exploded. So Dang. the phone just opened up, guys. Oh man. The phone just opened up and uh, I think the battery actually got so cold it exploded a little bit because it, the boil got a lot more extreme right around this area where the phone popped open. But we're gonna keep leaving it in there until com it completely Stop. stops boiling because as I can see, I believe the screen is still on. It's just doing some funky stuff on the screen. So we're just gonna wait and see what happens. What we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to flip this phone and hopefully it does not explode in my face. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. The whole thing like sandwiched. I guess if you want to um, disassemble a phone nice and efficient and quick and clean <laughs> without really that much mess, uh, this is the best way to do it because, I mean, this phone is in a few layers now. The screen is shattered. Completely. Not the main uh, screen, just the uh, LCD in the back, but the actual screen right here looks fine for now. So we're flipping that and see what happens. It looked like it just disassembled the phone. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the phone once again. It looks like it's still boiling and doing whatever. Uh, we are going to take this phone out after the nitrogen is evaporated yeah, and, then and I'm going to inspect the the phone and all the, you know, layers that are there. Look at that. All the frost growing on it. Anyways, we're flipping that over. Okay, the phone has been in the nitrogen for about five to ten minutes. I'm not exactly sure, but we do have some liquid nitrogen left, so I'm going to be pouring the rest of this in there or whatever I can to fill the bowl. So the iPhone is basically uh, done boiling. At this point, I'm just going to pull it out and I'm going to inspect it. I'm going to leave it out for a little bit, and then I'm going to inspect the damage of what actually went down with this thing and set our liquid nitrogen aside. Okay, so Very first good. thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to just disassemble this phone as if it's a normal phone, and we're gonna inspect each little item. So, from what I can tell here is, I don't believe this screen is cracked. It's actually, yeah, this um, Gorilla Glass that uh, Apple uses is not cracked. This is just frost over it, 
So as you can see right here, this is frost and the, the actual display itself is not cracked. Now, what is cracked from the cold it is the uh, LCD itself that's on the inside, but it not only cracked, it layered. So this part is uh, cracked up into little fragments. As you can see, if I bend this, you can see it's uh, peeling apart in little glass fragments. This is the LCD. This is the part that actually powers the screen and it transparent through the glass right here. So the Gorilla Glass is fine. So we can still reuse that for something else or probably just smash it with the hammer. Um, as far as we see, all the wiring is still pretty much intact. Um, the LCD is not gonna work ever again because it is cracked. So we're just gonna disassemble it like this. It's all hooked up. All the wiring is still intact, nothing broke. We have the battery also intact. It didn't blow up, doesn't look like it at least. The frame that holds, oh, here's the home button right here. Also home intact. Button. So I think at this point, it's safe to say that, you know, this is a, a good way to disassemble an iPhone if you never want to try to reassemble it. The battery does not explode. This is probably the safest way to dispose of an iPhone. Um, I think the next th thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly try to crack these things and see what happens. So first thing is um, the glass, the Gorilla Glass, and see what happens. Oh! Wow. So... Completely. Here's what we have with the glass. So. The glass just exploded. I don't know if that's whether if it's cold or if that's just tempered glass and that's what it does. But the glass just exploded. Um, we have the LCD. We already know the LCD is cracked. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rip that part off. See, as you can see, it's cracked up in little pieces. I can even flip them off right there. It's like, and it's 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 more of like a layered. Even though it cracked, it's more of like a rubbery material. <clears throat> the LCD is made with these layers oh, of yeah. crap. Um, even by wearing these gloves, I'll tell you guys. My fingertips right now are frozen, and I'm not even touching the nitrogen. I'm literally just touching this phone. So we're gonna crack that and see what happens. So this is the part of the LCD. So this was not cracked. This part was not cracked with the nitrogen, but I just broke it. <clears throat> so all this stuff is random. So we're just kind of just destroying this phone at this point. Um, we're gonna get this part and we're gonna take this over to our smashing station. We're gonna take this battery out. It's very solid. As you can see, Dave just needs a little bit of help. So what we're gonna do, pick this thing up and we're gonna just try to deform it. Put it off to the side a little bit so then we can hit it. As we can see, Apple did a very nice job as in comparison with the iPhone X where it's glass on the back, which, which is not the best, but this is uh, a lot more durable. So now we're just gonna finish it off with the hammer. Well, it looks like it's gonna take a lot of force to even bend this iPhone. Yeah, I think that's the end of it. Thanks so much for watching today in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're obviously not gonna be ever reusing this iPhone. It's completely non-reusable. Uh, I don't think at least, because we probably will need to fix that first. Anyways, subscribe to these guys, like the video, share the video, show them some love. They're gonna be doing a lot more stuff like this. If you like this video, consider subscribing down below. If you have anything to say about our video, please comment below. We will take any criticism you have. We want to make sure that you guys are enjoying these videos. Comment down below if you see one more if you want to see more of what we do. And we love to play with liquid nitrogen, so you no, know, bring us ideas of what we should break next and yeah.